right, so. What should we talk about? Let's talk about Percy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you seem really passionate about this universe. Like, we saw the panel and you guys talked with it with so much passion. And how do you think that this passion that you have for the book, for the the store itself, contribute contributes to to the show itself? Like, can you talk a little bit about that, please? Um, I think it's um, it's critical. I think um, if you don't believe it, if you don't feel it, um, you can't um, you can't put it on screen. And I think um, you know, spending time with these books, um, not as a fan, um, but as somebody really trying to figure out um, what do I feel in here, and and how do I. Um, how do I make an audience feel these things in a really visceral way? I think requires understanding what's what's important um, in the story, and and so um, that was key for the whole team. I think for for the writing staff, for producers, for cast, for for you know everybody on set to um, uh, you know be be exposed to the story in a way where it felt like you could invest in it and be proud of it and um, and be excited about where it was going. So for, for you guys, and there's like a through line um, that you do with the panel and just in, in your interviews that this is like a family, that, you know, the, the Reardons and, and you guys, it, it's just very close. Can you talk about how, like, how that happened? Because, you know, there have been other Percy Jackson properties. How did you come in to this and, you know, get that camaraderie? What, like, what's that like? I think so much early uh, early on was about building that trust because um, there's you know this is this is like a child to them you know this is um, uh, and it represents stories of you know that that he used to tell his child so you felt that very quickly like that what this means to them as a family and that they were inviting us into that family um, and so we we talk about we got fortunate that it was the early stage of the stages of this were over COVID, so we could just lock in without the pressure of oh my god this needs to be on the air in the next two years like or you know right away. Uh, we got to just sit there and spend a lot of time with them, many many zooms, just talking about the story, talking about why he wrote this, talking about what it means to them, what's really important, what can we play with, um, and that just never stopped. We just kept doing that in different forms that went from casting that went from the shoot that from post all of it it just kept we just kept that you know we just kept that dialogue going um, throughout the whole process they were there on set they were you know so all of that I think really allowed for us to be true to this story and you need that you need that dynamic you need that relationship uh, for this story was there a character that just popped for you that like you find the most interesting and if you were an actor which character would you play which character would you just love to that's, play? A, that's, that's a good question um we popped um i um i came into this with really high hopes for the story we could tell from sally's point of view um and to try to do justice to um how impossible it must be to raise a kid who you can't protect from this thing you can't even talk about um and and try to instill in him um tools ways faster than um, than is really possible to face things that are way more dangerous and, and, and awful than you'd ever want to talk to a kid about. Um, and Virginia Cole um, came in and just got it and, and brought such a sense of um, gravity and, and honesty and um, and was just cool. Um, she just <laughs> felt like a mom who um, was um, was doing all of those things in every moment and and, and in no moment making it feel like she was working very hard to get there. Um, I, I, so I, I'm really proud of that story. I, I think it, it turned out pretty well. Who do you want to be? <laughs> Who would you play? Man, that's hard. Um, there's a reason I'm on this side of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the song and dance man. So. Um, who do we want? Who do I want to play? Um, probably Grover. There's just, there's just. Um, but I wouldn't do it justice the way Arian did it. <laughs> he, uh, 
he we we love to talk about him because he's he was just like the the heart of the group. Um, he, this this kid is you you root for him like in in a second, um, and you and, and his empathy and it, it, the 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 actor has it, the character has it, he brings it to it, um, and I just um, that character is just very fun, um, and uh, that would be it'd be fun to have goat legs too. Come on, look how fast yeah. you could jump. And <laughs> Do yoga? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, hopefully you guys can help me with this question. So I read somewhere that each season is going to be modeled after a specific book. Mm-hmm. <coughs> season two? Uh, is, that, <laughs> is, that, is that happening? Uh, can you guys tell us anything or have t- discussions at least begun? Um, definitely discussions. Discussions began a long time ago. Um, I think, um, you know, there it hasn't been ordered, um, but there are people who spend some time in their days thinking about it and working on it, so <laughs> make of that what you will. I guess. <laughs> yeah, did you approach this project looking at all of the books and just kind of thinking, how do I want to divide up telling the story? Just like, let's just assume it's going to go forever, and, you know, or did you just come in and say, okay, this is the story to tell right now? I think um, it broke out pretty cleanly, and, and, and I think we just sort of knew or decided pretty early that, um, that Lightning. Thief would be the first book, would be the first season. Um, if we get to season five and we finish that book, and we'll just get Rick to keep I'm going to say, he's, so, he's still yeah. writing more. Yeah. So. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I think, um, you know, we, we were able to, it was helpful to have all five books to inform this season to, to inform the lightning thief, you know, Easter egg things that we could put in there, um, things that we know where it's going, so that we can make sure we are landing in, in, in season. And things we know it's about, you know, things yeah. I think that um, that that Rick's been very open about, and really uh, the fact that he he discovered things as he was writing. You know, he didn't know, you know, several thousand yeah. pages, you know, <laughs> ago what, what this was going to turn into, and so I think knowing that on some level um, this is a story about Percy's humanity as much as it is his his divinity um, is a thing that having read book five you come to it informed in, in a way where you can build all of the first steps in a, in a, a way that um, feels part of a whole. 